Of course, I'm. I think these, uh, you know, the, the occasions you, you live for as a player, you want to be involved in the, in the big games. And obviously, it'd have been really, really sour for me to finish on a ban last. You know, if we'd have obviously lost to Wigan, so um, you know, really pleased that the lads were able to go out and play so well against Wigan and get the job done. And you know, it gives me a chance, hopefully, to get to get back in there and, and play this week. You know, they're going to be running out here on on Saturday night. You know, do, does the occasion ever ever weaken? Do you think are they all as special as the as the first one? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I think that's why you you strive so hard to get back here because you once you've sampled the, the the atmosphere and the occasion you you want more of it and um, I think as as a team we we're hungry for success and I think that's been our you know the key ingredient in our team we, we want to improve we want to keep getting better and we want to taste taste success at you know you know in occasions such like such as this so um, again I don't think it's it's right to single any year out I think every year you get here you, you sort of want to savour it and. You know, experience it and you know just enjoy the moment, and hopefully we'll be able to play well on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I was only a only a young pup back in the day. Then ten years ago, so it's, um, it's a nice little anniversary return to, to Old Trafford. It's been um, it's a long time come for myself. As we spoke a few, you know, last week or the week before, I've, I've been striving to get back, and now it's finally come. You know, want to me and the lads want to want to um, take it with both hands and give a real crack at it. And people will say, you know, this is the culmination of a hard season and a you know tough, grueling campaign that you managed to play your way here, but it's been it's been the culmination of several years work and it? it's been building for a while this Warrington side. I think so yeah you know it's a, it's a good point that you know we, year on year the squad's got stronger we've got a little bit more consistent obviously we didn't finish top of the tree this year but I think I think you know we take the cup into it as well I think we've had a pretty consistent you know and a good season and it'd be really nice to, um, to finish it off at Old Trafford this week and it's just for reward for you know we're, we're a close-knit group of lads we work hard we enjoy each other's company and it's a real fitting end to a, to a really long consistent season. You know the Challenge Cup's obviously got you know a lot more history and you know prestige about it but there's just a different buzz about the grand final I think it's because you've worked so hard all year you know it's it's an accumulation accumulation of you know 27, 28, 30 games sometimes and you know it all boils down to, to playing well and turning up on and performing on one full for 80 minutes on one night and um, you know not many teams are able to do that and it's it's something we've been able to, to find a real good formula with is you know building ourselves up for for a big finish to the season. It is, I think it's something that Warrington's needed as well as a club. They've improved year on year, and certainly since I've been here and the Super League something that's always just eluded them a little bit. It's um, they've never been quite able to push on, you know, if as everybody keeps telling us that our playoff record is, is not great, but you know, we don't look in too much into that. You know, we're focusing now, we've we've got here, you know, this is like you said, it's new ter territory for Warrington, but hopefully it's um, it's gonna become you know, these kind of games will hopefully become pretty regular for the for the club in, in the future. So um, no, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the moment. We're still gonna do our you know everything we can to, to come out on top. Last year was a little bit different. We had a good run, you know, towards the back end of the season. I think we went like five or six games unbeaten before the playoffs. Whereas this year has been a little bit different. It's been very up and down, stop and stop start really. So, but again, it, I think the playoffs bring out the best in our team. And um, when it's do or die, you know, I think we we. Um, I don't know what what it is, but we we seem to play better, and uh, we we like the the challenges of you know it's all on the line, and uh, we seem to play our best rugby when it's like that. So again, hopefully that'll be the same on Saturday. When Leeds score right at the end and kicked, oh, with Kev's, Kev's penalty goal at the end, uh, you know it was um, just a state of shock. You know it was a, you know there was ups and downs, but I was still confident that we'd, we'd get the we'd get the win and get onto the final. And I think everybody else was, and I think that's why it was such a shock. But you know whether whether we kind of just switched off. You know, for a cup, that's the thing with rugby league. You, you switch off for half a second or a second, and you can get burnt. And it was simple; it was quick as that last year. You know, like a half a second. I think Rob went through or whatever, or somebody come out the line a little bit too early, give a penalty away, kick a goal, and the game's gone. It's, it's, it's crucial little things might happen in the game, and and when it gets to these type of games as well, it's it is the little things that that do get you. Yeah, I mean, I think defence defence is a key in these big games. I think you need to be able to scramble well. You know, if if teams make you know breaks and opportunities, you've got to be able to shut them down. And you might only get two or three chances to score in games like this, and you've got to take them really. You know, you can't afford too many mistakes in, in the big games. And hopefully, we'll be able to you know have a, a real good completion rate, and um, hopefully, we'll be able to defend well. I think that's a big thing because Warrington are good with the ball in hand. You've obviously looked on over the years as various other teams have, have picked up this trophy. You know, how do you think you'll feel when you when you walk out of that tunnel at the weekend? 
it's going to be electric. I know it, um, I can remember last time I went, you know, it was a, it was a few, as you stated, it was a few years ago now, 10 years ago, and the first thing, one of the things that still sticks in mind is the roar, the roar of the crowd and the ears on your neck and your arms stand up when you come out of the tunnel. It's, um, it's frightening. It's something that I'll always take with me, and obviously I'm going to hopefully I'll have another chance to to, to, re, to, um, to feel that special again. So um, this time, you know, we're going to it's with a different club, but um, it's, um, the feeling is still going to be the same, and it's, it's something that you can nobody can ever take off you. So you've got to you've got to give it all because you know these these opportunities, you know, when they come around, you've got to you've got to grasp them.